Once upon a time in a place called Sidi, there came two salesmen of pots and handmade trinkets. Since they both had the same items to sell, they wondered how they can both sell it in the same village and earn well. Oh, Sundar, how can we sell the same item to the same person? If they buy from you, why will they buy it from me again? If I may interrupt, I have an idea. Why don't both of you divide this town in half? You take your things to sell in one half and you take the other. Once each one of you is done with an area, the other can go and try selling these items there too. That's a brilliant idea. Thank you so much for helping us. Yes. Magesh and Sundar began on the separate routes and started calling out to the villagers. Pots and pans, pots and pans, take your trinkets and shine with them. Pots and pans, pots and pans, take your trinkets and shine with them. Not far away, a little girl listened to a salesman screaming. She hurried inside to call her grandmother out. Grandma, someone is selling shiny trinkets. I want a bracelet. Please buy me one. Oh, child, I wish I could. But we don't have any money. How will we buy it? Mm. Ah! Can't we sell that ugly place to buy the bracelet? Oh! This thing? This is covered in a black suit. Who will trade this for a bracelet? Oh! Let's try, Grandma! Please! Oh! Okay! We can try! Soon, Magesh approached the little girl's house. Yes, over here. I want a bracelet. Magesh saw the little girl's store clothes and at once decided to ignore her. Don't waste my time, little girl. You can't buy this. But you have to tell me the price first, don't you? Okay. It's four coins. Give me it and buy your bracelet. money to give you but if you come inside I can offer you something to pay for. Ah, uh, Fine but make it quick. I have to go and sell these things to those who have money to buy them. The house is in a terrible condition. The walls were falling apart. The roof was patched to cover holes and there were mice all over the place. What? They are so poor. What on earth can they offer me? The mice? Sir, I only have this sooty plate to offer you. My granddaughter really wants a bracelet. Please accept this. Uh, this black ugly thing. How deep is it covered in black ash? Let me rub it. I hope it's at least copper. As Magesh rubbed the plate, the ash came off and a little part of the plate started to shine. Uh, what? It was a golden plate. What happened? Is something wrong? Can you buy this? Magesh was a greedy man. He thought to himself, This is pure gold. This must be worth hundreds and thousands. I should go quickly and come back later. They will be convinced that this plate was worthless and will give it to me even for free. <laughs> huh? I was just wondering how could you offer this useless plate to me. This is not worth anything. There is no value in this. I don't want it. Oh, please don't say this. It will break my granddaughter's heart. Can't you find a way to give us one bracelet? Uh -huh. One bracelet. I can't give you even half a bracelet for this useless thing. You have wasted enough of my time. I will leave now. <laughs> he is a road man. I don't want anything. As Magesh disappeared in the market, Sundar came to the same place to try his luck. Pots, pens and trinkets. Pots, pens and trinkets. Hello, little girl. Would you want to buy something? A 
don't have money to buy anything from you. Oh, you must have something. Don't be sad. Let's do one thing. You tell what you have and I'll try to trade. Deal? Um, okay. I want a bracelet but I don't want it for free. I have an old bag that I can give you. Would you want to have a look at it? Of course. I don't know if it will be of any use. But here it is. Sundar knew that the plate was not worthy much. But he was a generous and a honest man. He didn't want to break the little girl's heart. He had already made up his mind to trade the old plate for a bracelet. To make the trade look real, he decided to examine the plate first. Hmm. Okay. Let me try and rub the black ash. What? This is a golden plate. Miss, this is worth more than everything I have. It's worth thousands. I don't have enough to buy this. Oh, really? I am an old lady. I don't understand money. You seem to be honest and kind. Why don't you take this and give my granddaughter a bracelet? A bracelet? You can have more than a thousand bracelets. Wait a minute. I can give you every pot, pan, trinket and every lost coin I have. In return for this bag. But please let me keep 8 coins to return to my home and my balancing scale with its cover to put the golden plate in. The old lady was very happy. She now had many pots, pans and handmade trinkets. They happily waved goodbye to Sundar. Sundar was also very happy. Not far behind was Magesh came there to trade the plate. Gold, gold, I am going to rich. I am sure the old lady has by now given up all hope. She will readily give me the golden plate for free. This is real salesman shape. Huh, I know you would be waiting for me outside. Hmm, okay, I have changed my mind. I can't see a little girl like you sad. I will buy your golden, huh? I mean that black ugly plate, but I can't give you your bracelet. Let me think. Hmm. Thinking what, mister? We don't need anything from you. We already sold our golden plate to wise and honest salesman. What? Wow! How? Who? You are rude and now we are late too. He gave us everything he had except 8 coins and his balancing scale. He must have crossed the river by now. What? No, my money. But the little girl was right. Magesh indeed was late. Sundar had already crossed the market. Magesh explored with rage and started screaming. Oh, my money. My money. Oh, my money. My money. My money. Oh, my money. Sundar was gone and Magesh was there on the ground. Regretting his actions, if only he had not been greedy, the golden pet could have been with him. Remember, honesty is the best policy.